Good morning, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today we are going to go over Tempest, Tempest, and this absolutely stunning binder. I hope you can see it well. Let me show you the back of it. The Wrath Cycle. This is uh, another old bordered, beautiful set. And this was before we had foils. Let me again make sure we're in frame. I'm starting to get used to this now, so I hope you can see everything well. Same for me. Yep, I think this is fine. Um, so this is a set that I chose today because it's the very first time we ever see uh, slivers. I know. These uh, super iconic creatures uh, that uh, that kind of take over planes are beautiful and special. This is another big set. It's the first of the Wrath cycle, I believe. If I'm not speaking uh, another mess, we see our Atogs as well. Uh, so this may be a slightly longer or shorter video, depending on how much rambling I have to I have to say. Um, this set has beautiful art. What is this disenchant thing? Look at this art on disenchant. To me, this has nothing to do with disenchant, but it looks good. The swarm seemed unmoved by the artificial sliver's destruction. They clearly were not the leaders, Hannah cursed. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. How fun. So they're treating them almost like, yeah, like a unmarked creature. I guess that does make sense then in the lore. Hannah's Custody, Humility. Humility is one of our most expensive cards this set. It's some beautiful art by Phil Foglio. One cannot cleanse the wounds of failure. <laughs> Ouch, says Karn. Uh, this is currently at $65, so quite pricey. This is a big set with a few cards that are quite expensive, so uh, it's, uh, it's a tough one to complete. There are some fun Legends Aurum, which I, I never played uh, at this time, 1997. I was um, opening packs here and there, but I did not really, I did definitely did not play or have a deck at this time, but I remember being captivated by a lot of the art. Um, this one, for example, I've remembered many, may, maybe some of you that are a similar age as me also remember some of the some of these slivers. Yes, Bubbles, I know. Bubbles is now scratching at the door. I think she wants to go outside, looks like. We'll be going for a little walk soon. <laughs> Capsize and chill. This has to be, is this the first time we see it? Because I know there's a promo uh, for sixth edition. Is it fifth or sixth edition? There's a fifth or sixth edition foil chill. That is somewhere, I believe I went over it. Counter spell, of course. Iconic, uh, beautiful duplicity. I think our money card in in uh, blue is actually, here we go, right there. Easy when we talk about it. Bam, intuition. Intuition is actually the most expensive card this set. It's at around $160. which is a fair amount of money for uh, an old card like this. I, I don't know what to say other than again, it's so old school, such a throwback. I know I just keep pulling out the slivers because that's what I'm drawn to. I wish you could kind of interact with me at the same time and be like, dude, take this card out, show it to me. Another kind of Sea Monster Drake with beautiful art. Uh, there was no rarity symbol at the time. If you can tell, everything is black. There is no, uh, um, of course there were uncommons and rares, but there was no way to differentiate them other than just knowing or being acquainted with the set. 
or obviously opening packs and knowing where it's where it's located. Whispers of the Muse. I went over this in Time Spiral, the original uh, Time Shifted. I followed her song only to find it was a dirge. And we saw, I think that was the one and only foil for it. And look at this, Volrat's Curse, him and a Minotaur. So beautiful. Bubbles, come here. She's kind of uh, going for a ride. Come on. Do you want to join us? All right, maybe another time. It's very difficult to get Bubbles to, to stick around with me when I'm making these videos. Uh, here I'm bringing two cards that I think are very special to the set, which are Coffin Queen and Commander Greven Ilvek. Rage is the only freedom left me? What? Rage is the only freedom left me. Hmm. Seems like a mistype or some sort, so I'm just not understanding it. Dark Ritual. This is not my favorite card, my favorite art uh, for this card, but it's a very important card. So I think it's great to see and show it. Do we have any or many valuable cards in black? Not that I believe so. Diabolic Edict. I definitely played with that. Uh, not in this set, but they reprinted Diabolic Edict a few times. I believe they they had a version of it, at least with uh, Odyssey. And they had flashback, so it was probably called something else. Grave Digger. I have a few, that's awesome. I, I remember this art very, very distinctively. Maybe it brings up some souvenirs to you. Here we see someone that looks like Karn going mad. It may be Karn, most likely is. Kezardrix, you know what? I have never paid attention to this card um, but this seems to be the prequel to the Vizardrix, which came out in 7th edition. How fun, I had no clue. Fevered Convulsions is a good card, which saw play, I believe. Uh, Reanimate! <laughs> you will learn to earn death. Volrath, what a big baddie. Uh, a lot of a lot of these cards are are really fun and iconic and and special. So forgive me for being maybe a little slow. Boil. We don't really have these cards with these effects anymore. They would just uh, be way too overpowered, or uh, maybe a little uh, unfun. I wonder what what it would be like today. Canyon Drake. I can't just take out every sliver and dragon. I am definitely taking out this one because it's so pretty. <laughs> the Flowstone Wyvern. And the Furnace of Wrath. Which doubles all damage assigned to any creature or player. Which cards in the set meant the most to you? I, I'd love to know that because I, I often have conversations with a lot of you in the, um, with some of you in the comment section, and you either share stories that you had growing up with whichever set I'm discussing on the day. You, oh my god, it's so fun seeing all of these, the mogs. You tell me, you, you tell me about your, your souvenirs and memories while playing the game. You teach me stuff that I didn't know um, about the set, be it lore, card dynamic. Uh, sometimes you tell me more about the symbol. Here it's fairly straightforward. It's a it's a cloud with uh, with lightning bolt inside. Uh, I'm realizing that I have quite a lot of doubles uh, here, so that's good. I used to separate the front and the back. 
uh, Aluren. Aluren is one of our most expensive cards in the set. It's, um, it's at $55. So it's quite nice. The set is so big, it was definitely very difficult to complete. Uh, Dirt Coal, Dirt Coal Worm. You know what? I believe this was the pre-release and I think I have it somewhere. I'll take it out at the, at the end of the video so I don't have to get out and scramble, but that'll be a little, um, a little bonus if you manage to stick to the end. I'll go look for that pre-release because I believe I have it somewhere. Eladamri, Lord of Leaves, is beautiful was very expensive for me when I was looking for it. It was already over $50 or maybe $40, and now it's at 60. Hasn't changed much. This one seems to have retained its value and not changed and still beautiful, iconic. Horn sliver, muscle sliver. I really should sleeve them to be honest, just more for the memory than for the value. Did I go over? I did, wow. Right next to Oladomri as well, Earthcraft, is our most expensive green card at $120. I knew nothing about it, I never played with it, I just know that it's expensive. Uh, tap an untapped creature you control, untap target basic land. must be good if it's that expensive. I, um, I'm mostly just surprised and smiling at the art and happy to hear some of these stories. Um, oh my god, we're still in recycle, look at this. Oh my god, it's Phil Folio again. I have brought him up like two or three times this set. It's very cartoony. It seems like it's Gerard and some goblin and it's fun art for me to see. Overrun, I remember this from Odyssey. I prefer that art, even though this is also very beautiful. Bubs, what are you up to? Can I come here? She's not wanting to come, guys. Scragnoth was also reprinted in one of those time-shifted sets in foil, which is really fun. And we had Verdant Force, of course. This is very pleasant for me and fun to go over. Selenia, the Dark Angel. is an important and gorgeous legend, which I believe we saw in Vanguard. If you saw my set review of Vanguard, I went over those oversized commander cards. And now we get into a few more expensive cards. We had all the medallions. Here we have Altar of Dementia, which is not, which is an MP condition, I would say. There's a little thing here. Beautiful art was reprinted not too long ago. Her scroll, the medallions, which are beautiful. I'll take out all of them uh, if I see them. Cold storage was also expensive at a time. Here's our jet medallion. These are just beautiful. Grindstone, reprinted. Helm of Possession. Don't know much about it. Oh my god. Uh, too much to talk about. So much to talk about. Or so much to go over at least. The beautiful Lotus Petal, which is, I believe, one of the most expensive on commons, or sorry, commons. Metallic Sliver, which I guess now makes me rethink that comment on Disenchant. If you could just destroy target artifact. Here is our stunning pearl medallion. Sue Ellen Brown. Did you do all of them, Sue Ellen Brown? Phyrexian Hulk, Phyrexian Grimoire, Mannequin, 
Yep, she definitely did. The ruby and the sapphire medallion. These are very special, beautiful, and important mana rocks that you use in Commander. Scroll Rack used to be very expensive, a very expensive card, which um, collapsed after being reprinted a few times. I think we saw it in Commander Legends. I, I may be wrong. And of course, the Ancient Tomb at 75 bucks. Beautiful art by Colin McNeil, beautiful card. Very fun and playable. And then we'll go over these iconic lands. Reflecting Pool. I had no idea they had Sulfats in here. Most of these are not worth much, but they were really beautiful. Look at this wasteland. The land promises nothing and keeps its promise. I hope it's fun and relaxing in any way for you guys to just go over these old sets and hear me talk about a bit of nonsense and my love for collectibles and putting them all together. Um, I will leave you here. I think it would take a little time for me to go get that binder with the, the pre-release. Uh, um, but I know where it is and I will now include it in the set. I hope you have a great day guys and thank you so much for staying with me.